traits of a man should be a leader, courage, and prideless. And this is very important. In this day and age, the way that they're teaching you to be a man is that you need to have pride. You need to authorize your dominance in the world. A leadership quality, a courage quality, and a prideless quality is going to be the keys to being a man. Understanding what women are all about is that they are different than you. They are not a man. And a lot of men like to approach this scenario as a man, not understanding that this is a different creature that you are dealing with. They don't want to have a leadership role. Society is going to tell you that they want to have this and that women can do everything men can do. But to be honest, the reason that that is in this day and age is because men really aren't doing much anything. I see this all the time where a lot of men are lazy, no goals, nothing kind of going on in their life. And women have to essentially take on this role of being a leader in the family. And this is where it leads to seeing a lot of the commercials, a lot of TV and a lot of the enemy trying to produce that woman that takes control of the family and the man is just the guy in the background you know carrying all her stuff they constantly say the same thing like they wish their men or they wish men would do this they wish that they would take their talents they're tired of men doing nothing they wish that they you know you would take more authority you never see a biblical man like joshua david uh, solomon any of those people that just didn't do anything and when they stop doing things is when kind of the enemy took control of them leadership courage prideless you were supposed to go out and conquer for your family to go do things to spread your family's name out there and the way that the world is trying to control you now is on your phone and on your television so that you sit on the couch and do nothing all day they want you to go out and do things you have to look in the mirror and say really women don't want losers you know you want a man she wants to have a man to tell her where to go and what to do and it's not again prideless it's not in a way of just telling someone something it's showcasing why they need to go that way why would they follow or submit to what you want them to do when you're doing nothing they're almost making the same amount of money as you genesis says hold steadfast to your father and mother and then go to your wife the meaning behind that is because you have to be ready and sometimes a lot of men don't want to accept that quick intermission if you're liking this video do me that favor hit the like hit that subscribe that this moment in time of hardship will lead to prosperity in the future women really want is that you take your time you're not just wasting your time chasing after nothing and you build something that can support a family because like I said after number one you women just don't want losers they don't want to do that they have to tell what to do they want a man to tell them what to do just as Boaz did with Ruth you can't talk to a woman like a man uh, a lot of us end up doing that where we, as men, we think of one directional movement of certain types of situations and scenarios. Even the, the problem solving in us is like, okay, you have a problem, this is how we fix it. Approach life like that, obviously, and move your family in the right direction. Is that sometimes women just want you to listen. They don't want an answer. They don't want you to tell them what's the next direction because essentially what that comes off as is that you're not really listening to what they're saying. And sometimes, they just want you to listen. You have to understand that women are very emotional creatures. They think a lot more with both sides of their vein. Uh, very creative, very all of this stuff, and very emotional. Not in a bad way, but that they're just much more emotional. It doesn't make her, you know, psychotic or crazy. The reason she gets like that is because sometimes you have to take a step back from being a man and just focusing directly on one thing and understand that sometimes doesn't need to be an answer. Sometimes doesn't need to be problem solving. Sometimes, and by sometimes I mean probably 80% of the time it's something that I, I learned because I was very much like that, is I just want you to listen. Allow them to spew out all of their thoughts from the day, the day before, the week, the year, whatever it is. Spew out all their thoughts and just tell them exactly. Yep, 100% and not give an answer not not like tell them you need to do this just sometimes they just want you to take a second listen hear what they have to say <laughs> it's good to sound bad but women will give you a whole paragraph essay of everything that's going on and as a man what you need to do is you need to hit understand what to underline in these statements they'll tell you a whole thing and in the middle of it they might say they want to go to the zoo and you need to pinpoint that and say 
the point of this is that they want to go to the zoo. Now, that's a stupid example, but it's essentially what, what you need to do. And it's something that a lot of men don't understand because we'll take every sentence and break down every single sentence of the, what the woman says to you and try and figure out an answer to every single sentence. And what you need to understand is that most of the time, it's a whole paragraph trying to just see if you'll listen to them and then pinpoint the right thing. And when you do this, when you understand this, it's like a superpower because most guys are just sitting there trying to figure out an answer to every single thing. And it's what we're prone to do. It's what men are prone to do. Like I'm prone to, if I have a problem in my life, how do I fix this? But women aren't like that. That's why you're the man. You lead and you push them in the direction. But what a woman really wants is you to just listen for a second and not talk. We'll circle prideless, not talk. Just listen to what she's saying. Let her get her emotions out. That's really what's going on with her. She really just wants to exuberate her emotions. And when she does that, everything flushes out. And she feels fantastic. I tell you what, it took me a long time to realize that, but it's something that a lot of men have to realize is that we're not talking to a man. We're not talking to a dude where we can just, you say something and then I say something and you, that's not what we're talking to. We're talking to a woman. And what they're really just trying to see is if you'll sit down, let them talk for about two hours and just nod your head and tell them, yes, uh uh-huh, yep, okay, uh uh-huh. And then when you find something that they're circling back to a lot, that's kind of something that you're looking for. If they're circling back to wanting flowers sometimes and, and, and they keep saying, then they want, then go get them flowers the next day. <laughs> if they're circling back to wanting to go to dinner, then take them out to dinner as a surprise. And when you do that, it calms their emotions. Everything gets spewed out. They get to say everything that they had on their chest. And they realize that you're just there to comfort them. And that's the point of men. That's what you do with your woman. You just comfort them. You let them get everything off their chest and you showcase that. Don't worry about it. I got it. Most men, they just want to talk. They want to talk over the woman. They want to pretend to be a man instead of listening to what they're saying. Being with you is like a business decision and a lot of men don't understand. And the reason why they leave you is a business decision. You have to remember that the woman is the one carrying the child. The woman is the one that's going to spread your name. So if you aren't a good business decision. She's not going to stick around. If she's into a stock that's plummeting, why would she stick around? What are you offering her in the future that's going to make her feel as though this is a stock of Apple or Google versus this is a stock of I don't know, something, some horrible penny stock that's just plummeting. If you're sitting there playing video games, smoking pot, doing nothing all the time, all she's going to think about is that this is the dude that I'm number one going to be spending the rest of my life with. And number two, this is the dude that's going to have my kids. This is going to be the father and this is what they're going to grow up like too. She's thinking of this. That's what she's thinking about all the time. You need to be a man. You need to be a good business decision. You need to be the one that's going to further her family, the one that she's happy to show her parents. We have so many of these songs telling you like, I know I'm a loser, but and your dad doesn't like me, but it's because you are. And dad's not gonna like you because dad wants a dude that's gonna further his family. He doesn't want someone that is doing nothing with their life. You are a business decision. You are something that is going to spread the legacy of not just your family, but their family combined. When you look at Boaz and Ruth, Boaz is the man that took in Ruth in order to create the genealogy of David the king. If you had, no offense, you had some scrub that was doing nothing for Ruth, probably wouldn't have born and maybe God redeems it, I don't know. But it's different when you have a strong prideless courageous man that's what Boaz was that's what I kind of want to circle around Boaz was leader courageous and prideless he took in Ruth being a Moabite which is basically the enemy of the Jews and then on top of that married her courageously and also was a leader which expanded her family took in Naomi and bought the land that her father left this is the epitome of being a man and this ended up leading to the legacy of Jesus Christ so at the end of the day you have to realize are you becoming these things and this is something that women won't tell you but every woman has on her mind 
This smells like hard work and determination, boys. Hit that like and subscribe if you like this video. I appreciate it very much. Uh, praise God. He's great. All the time, read the Bible. You'll see these stories and you'll see how they unfold in your life from 3,000 years ago. Love you all. Again, in Jesus' name, God is great all the time. Love you all. Peace.